This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. In recent weeks, I have talked about Congressman Jamal Bowman a few times. One was when he was calling Republicans cowards who who stand, who sit on their hands while child after child after child after child is slaughtered in their classroom, who do nothing, who who stand on this mountain of it shall not be infringed while kids get murdered. And Thomas Massey had a little dust up with him in the hallway uh, where, where Jamal Bowman asked him, have you ever worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? Thomas Massey, who takes group pictures with all of his family and kids all holding guns like psychos. And then there was the moment with Marjorie Taylor Greene where they were having a tit for tat back and forth about you have to ditch Donald Trump. You need to save your party. He's dragging you down. He's just telling the truth to Marjorie Taylor Greene. And then she resorts to, I got to impeach Biden. (laughs) It's her favorite thing to say. And then she went before the media. I know I'm giving a brief recap here, but she, she went before the media and said she felt threatened. She, she did the Amy Cooper thing where she wants to weaponize um, Jamal Bowman's skin color. She wants to weaponize the fact that he's a, a, a big guy and try to act like she was threatened, that he creates an unsafe atmosphere for, for her, even though she's the one who speaks at Nazi conferences at the invite of Nick Fuentes and is creating the actual toxic actual dangerous atmosphere for many of her colleagues. Well, she had a a, a town hall recently and a constituent got up and read her the riot act about how exactly she felt about Marjorie Taylor Greene's abuse and endangerment of Jamal Bowman. It is a classic, uh, we need more of this. We need to make these people know that their behavior is unconscionable, it is unacceptable, and it will not be tolerated. Watch this. Yes. Do you know who Carolyn Dunham is? No, ma'am, I don't. Uh huh. She was the woman who said that Emmett Till looked at her the wrong way or said something to her. The way you did Jamal Bowman when you were on the steps of the Capitol oh talking about gun violence. You can leave Why me. would, would you be quiet, please? Mm-hmm. I have the right to say what I want to say. I think finish. you're yeah. reckless. I think you're reckless. You had no business saying, oh, he's so big. Oh, I feel so like he's going to hurt me. That's the same thing Carolyn Dunham said that got Emmett Till killed, and that was reckless. And you did a reckless thing. And if anything happens to Jamal Bowman, it's going to be on your hands. Well, let me ask you, were you in New York City when he stood outside my car and he came in? No, no, it's my turn. No, ma'am, it's my turn. And he brought a crowd around me. Were you there? No, you were not in New York City when that happened. It's on video. It's on video. And you may watch the video. And you can see how he cussed. Ma'am, it's my turn. It's my turn. I listen to you. So that's wrong. This isn't about skin color. And I refuse. I refuse for you to do that. No, this is not about skin color. This is about this is about respect. And this is about this is about standing up for what's right. Color me unsurprised that an audience of Marjorie Taylor Greene white hillbilly fans got up and applauded this lady into silence. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a white supremacist. Marjorie Taylor Greene accepted an invitation by Nick Fuentes, the man who had dinner with Donald Trump and has said all kinds of um, praise-infused things about Adolf Hitler himself, 
uh, who denies the Holocaust, who is a vile little Nazi puke, she accepted an invitation to speak at the America First Conference, the same one that Paul Gosar speaks at. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a white supremacist. She is a racist. She is a dangerous influence in our country, and not just because she's a, a, a member of Congress, but because she has a following as evidenced by this clip, that there were dozens of people stood to their feet while she's saying it had nothing to do with skin color. She attacks on the regular members of Congress who are black and brown, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley. Rashida Tlaib, AOC, all of these people are in danger more so than they would be because of Marjorie Taylor Greene, who accosts them personally on the floor and just off the floor of the house, who endangers Jamal Bowman with her reckless language. Who knows what kind of damage and danger that one of those hillbillies in the audience could bring to bear against a member of Congress that happens to be a target of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Words have power and she knows it. This QAnon psycho. So listen, good on the lady, good on the constituent who took the time out of her day to face the abuse of this crowd this, this jeering fan base of Marjorie Taylor Greene, good for you, madam. We need more people who are willing to take time out of their day to face the abuse, to tell people like Marjorie Taylor Greene exactly how they feel. Uh, what do you think? I'd love to know exactly how you feel. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714 576 Forty fifty four. You can absolutely, as always, email me the old-fashioned way, as I like to say, uh, daily at dollamore.com. I'm on a big push right now for the end of the year to try to get to 500,000 subscribers, and it's only with your help that I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, click. It's free to subscribe. Click the little bell that'll get you notified when I upload a new video, and uh, I would appreciate it very much. Uh, if you want to do more than that, you want to help support my work, help produce my videos and what I'm doing here, this and my podcast, click the join button below, become a channel member for two bucks a month, click the super thanks button below, or go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere that there's social media and uh, I'll see you next time. I love and appreciate you very much. Thanks for your engagement. Thanks for your, your passion for the country and thanks for being dedicated to the prospect of making our world a better place. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.